I have the, oh, it's come undone, the Tropics Flawless Skin Collection. Um, I went to a friend of mine's party and this is what I decided to treat myself to. I've also got the sculpting palette, but that will be for another day because to me you can't use them both together. I, you probably can, um, but I, it's too much for me. I don't use them both together. And the Beauty Booster, which is like a BB cream. Um, in this kit came the Warm Glow Blushing Powder, the Soft Focus Perfecting Powder, and the Active Mineral Foundation, which I bought in barely nude for my skin colour, because um, I'm surprisingly lighter than everybody thinks I'm going to be. So you have to start with that one. I've got my instructions here because this is how good at this I am. And it came with two brushes, which is a kabuki brush and a concealer brush, which I haven't used yet. And what you have to do is apply a small amount of mineral foundation, I'm reading from my instructions, to concealer brush, to problem areas. Now, I don't know what counts as a problem area. My face. My tummy. I don't think we're going to conceal that with it, are we? I'm putting it in the lid because I don't really know what else to do. It comes out of the little holes once you've see the cat there. comes out the little holes as you twist it around. The reason I'm outside is that the light's quite good outside and in my wisdom I decided that you can't mess up outside. I've got a filthy house at the moment because it's the bank holiday Monday and the kids have been in for three days. So yeah. Oh it's really hard. It's a really hard brush. Um, I've got a mirror down here so I'm doing some weird things with my face. I don't know what my problem areas are. I have a spot there. I'll just rub it on there. It covers that quite well. Um, that's a mole, but I just want to see if it covers it really. I don't mind. I'm going to frown at myself and there's cats climbing all over everything. It seems like I've got hundreds of cats. We've only got two. But in all the videos there's just like, cats everywhere. Right, I'm putting some more in because that... It's really difficult to get out there. Can't it? Anyone's got any tricks? Let me know. Also, probably not helping that it's outside. Oh, this is mine. Thank you. Just dip your cat in it. That'd be fine, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Roll you in it and then put you on my face. And I'm doing this. I've missed a step. Decant a small amount into the lid of the pot and buff into the whole face. All circular motions using the 100% organic bamboo kabuki brush. So I am buffing in circular motions. Mm. I think I need some more. Problem is, makeup outside means wind. So I've got to create myself a little bit that's not too windy. So that it doesn't blow away as I put it in the lid. And then I get it on my brush. And then I buff in. It's not a bad skin colour for me. It's quite nice. As you know and can see, no makeup expert, but I feel that's not, not too bad a coverage. Okay, so that's done. I've kabookied. Oh, I haven't shut it. You have to shut it because if not, it's just messy. Then I have to apply a little warm glow radiance booster along my cheekbones and just under the jawline for a sun-kissed look. I'm never quite sure about the sun-kissed look because when would I suntan under my cheekbones? No, jawbones. I can't even name the right bit of my face. It's good, isn't it? Okay. To me this looks suspiciously brick coloured, but warm glow it will do, I suppose. So I've mashed that into my brush as well from the lid and oh, where have I got put it cheekbones and jawline cheekbones jawline do I look sun kissed suppose maybe I do a little bit it's not that easy though because I now think whether I'm right or not that this bit here looks a bit like it's not very sun crisp as the rest of me is so I'm going to put a bit up there as well I think I'm just rubbing my face really I'll do like 
compare the before and after. What? Well, no, I won't. I made it sound like I was going to do something really technical then. I'll look at the start of the video and be like, I can't tell the difference. And this is the Soft Focus Blur Fine Lines and Ensure Makeup Stays Put with a Light Dusting of Soft Focus Finishing Powder. Now, I feel a little bit like I should have a separate brush for each one. But, I don't, they only gave me one. So I am doing it all with one. So technically, by the end of it, my whole face will just be covered with all the same stuff. This one comes out of the packet easier. Obviously knows I need blurring. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, you don't need the rest of it, just the blur. Blur it all. There you go, all blurred and I don't know, flawless looking possibly? You tell me, do I look flawless? I think you just can't see me probably. I'm not entirely sure about the lighting here, it looks quite good in the mirror but when I look on the um, camera it doesn't look that great. So yeah, here is me, I am apparently flawlessly blurred. No, that's not right, flawlessly blurred. I am apparently flawless now. I think it's kind of like sold itself bit short on me, hasn't it? I'm not flawless. Never mind. Stand you back up. The cat's trying to knock you over, which doesn't help. Um, with the Tropics, you can also buy a... I'm trying to think what it is. Um, eyebrow kit. And it's got stencils for different eyebrow shapes and things like that. Um, I didn't buy one of those because I tend to do my eyebrows myself. I'm quite happy doing them. I might do them now as I'm talking to you because... Sorry, I'm beating the cat out of the way. No, I'm not really beating him, I'm lightly encouraging him, obviously. I wouldn't beat a cat. Um, but yeah, I'm happy kind of with my brush doing my eyebrows like this, so that's how they're going to be done. But I have heard good things about the eyebrow kit from friends who bought it. I've just got this up there. I'm just showing off how great my makeup skills are. This is going to come across as being like the least helpful video ever because you'll all go, yeah, I won't buy that because she's got it. And she clearly doesn't know what she's doing. But I've just tried to be helpful, really. That's all there is to it. And then I use this because I don't actually know what this does, but it's in the kit, so I put it on the scar on my eyebrows down because they're obviously going to fly away otherwise, aren't they? I mean, seriously, who has problems with flyaway eyebrows? I've never had my eyebrows get in my eyes before. I don't think that's it though, is it? It's people that like their eyebrows nicely shaped. Whereas I, hmm, I look like this. I just, what kind of lips should we go for? Why I'm going to get you to watch me do my lipstick, I don't know, because I can't even find the one I want for a start. Um, or one similar to the one I want. I was going to say this is the one, but no, this one's a little bit brave for now. Um, I, all I can find is um, hundreds of this colour. Which I wanted to kind of go for nude, but it seems that my my makeup bag doesn't want me to have nude lips. Um, what should we go for? One of these? This is the Velvet Soft Matte Finish Lip Cream from Cream Puff, which I think was from Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury. Got it on the mainland, which is why I want to say Asda, because you can't get Asda stuff on the island, because there isn't an Asda. And uh, that's about it really. There isn't an Asda, so you can't have one. There has, for about two years, I've been told there's going to be one, which confusingly is where the football pitch is at the moment. Um, so I don't know if they're moving the football pitch or if they're putting Asda in the football pitch car park or what they're doing, but that's all you need to know about Asda, really, because that was obviously what I was here to talk about, wasn't it? Skincare and Asda. But this is the finished look. I could do more. I should do eyes and mascara and stuff like that, but I've kind of run out of the world to do anything, I'm afraid. So, 
this is how I look with apparently Tropic Flawless Skin. I really like it. I don't know if it's showcased it to its best abilities in this vlog, but I think it's really good. It's really quick and easy and simple to use and I think that coverage is really good and I think they've matched my skin tone really well. Um, I'm really pleased with the colour of it and although the warm glow looks very warm in there, I don't think it comes out too orange at all, but maybe that's just because I'm not very brave and don't use very much. I think you could probably tan yourself up with it quite well. So yeah, I recommend it, I like it, I also apparently like Asda. So yeah, see you soon.